now from the 2015 Cadillac Escalade, we're going to go to the 2015 Hyundai Genesis, and we're going to talk to another David, in this case, David Shuwonski, the new CEO for Hyundai USA. So here, here we are at uh, Phoenix for the launch of the new 2015 Hyundai Genesis with Dave Susowski from uh, Hyundai, the new CEO for Hyundai North America. Thank you for having us here. It's great. It's great to be here. Thank you. So uh, let's, now let's talk about the, the new Genesis, second generation Genesis, uh, very different from the new, from the old one, and uh, not only in the, des in the design, exterior and interior, but also a lot of technology. Oh, it's it's uh, we, we just got done with our meeting, and, and we tried to figure out a way to make it a little shorter so everybody could drive the cars, but there is so much to talk about, yeah. you, can't, you can't really shortcut it. It's uh, it's night and day. It's a different vehicle uh, than the first than the first Genesis. Um, uh, the From the d exterior design, and what's interesting is the is the di the dimensions on the vehicle are almost identical to the car it replaces, but it looks longer, it looks sleeker, it looks lower because we've we've pulled the wheels out to the, to the end of, of the chassis, and it just gives it a great look for rear-wheel drive vehicles. So it's got our Fluidic Sculptor 2.0 beautiful, handsome, elegant styling. Uh, then you get inside of the vehicle, and like you said, it's got a tremendous level of standard equipment. It's got a tremendous level of safety features. It's got uh, vehicle dynamics that we've never had in any Hyundai before. When you drive that car today, you're going to notice immediately the uh, tomb-like silence inside. We spent a lot of time um, uh, really deadening road noise. We spent a lot of time really tightening the structural rigidity of that vehicle. It is, it is about as tight a vehicle as you're going to get. And unlike the first Genesis, where we where we really drew a lot of our sales from first-time premium buyers, people moving up from a large car, we're going direct, directly after the German mid-segment competitors. We feel really strong that this car doesn't hold a candle to anybody, and, and, and we feel very proud of it. Yeah, and the packaging of things, uh, you started with the Acera, like uh, putting a lot of things standard, like people things that people expect, like navigation, like those kind of the keyless entry and all that, that they expect in a luxury car. And you started with this car that starts also a very low... MSRP compared to the competition. Yeah, exactly. We, we're starting at a $38,000 MSRP, and, and the list of standard equipment is incredible. Like you said, it's got navigation, it's got rear backup camera, it's got nine airbags, it's got an array of safety features and technology that's really unmatched anywhere. And when you look at our competitors in that segment, everybody else is starting in the mid-40s, and it goes quickly up to over $50,000. And when you actually comparably equip our cars versus our competitors, the, the differences versus a, a comparably quick Lexus or, or Mercedes E-Class is, is in the is in the twelve to seventeen thousand dollar range. So just a tremendous value, and, and we feel really good about where we're positioning that vehicle. So the most that you can spend this guy is around fifty five. If you go to a completely loaded uh, V8 engine with everything on it, it's just under fifty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna go and drive that car uh, here on Arizona, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we'll uh, sure we're gonna enjoy it today. Thank you're you. Gonna, you're gonna love it. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.